600 lip brush. What I'm doing is I'm loading it up with my lip pencil. And this way I can go in and I have ultimate control over where my lip pencil goes because I'm using a brush built to draw on the lip. Also what happens is when you use a brush to apply your lip pencil, you get a much softer look. You don't get that hard line. And it's also really good to get your lip pencil all over the lip because it makes your lip stick last much longer. And you can see the precision and control I can get shaping the lip this way. And I get to put the lip liner all over the lip, which means when I put the lipstick on afterwards, it's going to have a nice, beautiful base to grip onto and hold onto much longer. And you don't even have to put lipstick over this. You can put lip gloss over this. Um, if you've got a nice satin finished lip pencil like this one, you could just leave it alone because demi matte or satin finished lips are really trendy right now. And I have my lip product just buffed in really nicely into the lip. You see how soft that looks? You're never going to get that look by just taking a pencil and applying directly to the lip. You really do need a brush to get this look. It's really pretty and it's very neutral and soft with the smoky eye that we did. So I'm not gonna add any additional color. I'm just gonna add some clear gloss over the top with the same number 600 brush that I applied the lip liner with. Because with this smoky eye, what you do is you want a more neutral lip because all the emphasis is on how you define the eye and smoked it out. And there we go, look at that. Also the nice thing about using an external brush for applying a gloss, you don't have to worry about whatever is on the brush that's come off your lips going back into your tube of gloss, so you won't have to worry about your gloss color changing. I don't know how many times you've maybe put gloss over a lipstick or a lip liner, only to return the brush that came with the gloss into the tube and it changes the color of the product. This way you won't be doing that. Also you've got a better quality brush than it's going to come in any one of these tubes. Like that. So now we're going to go in with our Kabuki brush again. A little bit of powder on it just to finish touching up. Any last minute areas, a little bit on the nose, smooth out the cheeks a bit, keep your eyes open, get under there, see how nice, see this is what's great about these beautiful kabuki brushes, they just grip every contour of the face, you could use it with your powder, you could use it with your mineral foundation, you can use it with any powder foundation, loose or pressed. Also, you could use it just on its own clean to buff in your makeup and make it look all smooth and get rid of any edges that need to be blended. And uh, here we go, Meg's ready to go out.